Hello. It has been such a long time since I've had to talk about this garbage company, uh, Doe. But with the uh, recent announcement that their Spectrum Black is shipping this month, July 2023, they are shipping. What does that mean? Are they actually going to ship? What else has been going on? Let's just let's just jump right into it. So, um, if you haven't been following the Spectrum Black, it's their OLED panel they're working on with uh, to so it's a new Spectrum model that is the OLED. I'm also trying to catch my cursor, but it's not working. So you can't see my cursor, but trust me, my mouse is here. Oh, there it goes. Um, they've been working on this monitor for I think a little bit over a year now, and no, not over a year. I'm sorry. They announced it in January, shipping this month. And it is now this month. So if you go to their pre-order page, shipping July 2023. We even finally have, as of 12 hours ago, the only community contact. The estimated shipping is set for July 2023. What does this mean? If I place an order, am I going to get it in the next couple of days? Maybe. Maybe not. No, you're fucking not. You're going to get fucking scammed. So here's what's going to happen. Here's the way Doe works. With whatever they're estimated shipping they've done this i think twice now uh what they do is they've highlighted this in a previous community post there's certain phases of manufacturing these panels go through and uh at the at the very beginning right now or at the, at the current point of dough when it comes to the uh eh, those are all just bad posts when it comes to the uh oled it's still very new i think they've shown one working prototype so far uh, which, gosh, it's just so hard to find anything on their website. But basically, they're as of last month or two months ago, they're still adding features to this thing. Like, It's not ready for mass production yet whatsoever. But what they're going to do, they're going to do a small production run of probably about 100 panels, and they're going to ship those to people. Um, I know that's been a really big point of contention uh, for the 240 hertz model. There are actually, I think, roughly 70 to 80 of those... Uh, Matt, 240 hertz, 1440p panels that are now not even under the monitors they sell. You have to go dig it under other products. This one that's been coming soon since 2020. Uh, there's about 100 of those in the world and in, in the out there. So you can get click, you can do anything. So that's basically what they do. That's confirmed here is that back in September of 2022, uh, 90 units passed QC and were shipped. And for those referring to Matt, being way ahead of glossy, da 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 da. So I think this was yeah this was the 90 glossy units. So basically, they say we shipped. They shipped 90 units. They have way more than 90 orders. They have way more than probably 900 orders. But they're going to ship 90 of them, and they're going to say, "Yep, we shipped it in July. We shipped it. It shipped. Everything else is waiting." What does waiting entail with dough? So one thing again, this ES07 DO2, they shipped out about 90 of them back in. Maybe that's what that one was. I don't know what this was. This would be close. It would have been late last year. Mass production of this this thing happened in December. Um, as of today, they still are not shipping this thing. It's been seven months, and they still have not been able to fulfill orders from this fucking quote-unquote mass production. So, what's happened, they shipped 90 of these things. They're saying, well, we shipped it. It's done. They've built a thousand of these things and they haven't shipped any of them. They haven't delivered any of them to customers. When p customers start getting these, maybe later this year, they're going to have a production date of December 2022 and customers are going to be getting it late 2023. It's, it's really shitty and scummy the way they do that, where they say, oh, well, we shipped it just because they shipped a few. It, it's worthless. It's, it's, it's hollow words. Um, building on the hollow words... Uh, let's see, what is this? Warranty supports. The, the Spectrum's warranty. Doe supporty. War, Eve supporty. Eve support is garbage. This person started a f support request July of 2022 saying, hey, I got a monitor and you shipped it to me broken. I'd like to get it fixed. And here we are a year later. No resolution. It's been over a year. And they do not respond. This is a person on their sport, on their uh, subreddit or on their board, and they're not even getting a they don't, staff doesn't even reply to them. They're ignored. If you if you buy a Doe product and you have an issue with it, you're gonna get fucked. 
You're going to get ruined. Your, your product, they're offering a quote-unquote three-year warranty on whatever the fuck this, this Spectrum Black is. The warranty means nothing. This is a fucking link on a page. I can, look, I'll offer you, hey, you buy, you give me $1,000 for an OLED monitor, I'll give you a 10-year warranty. And then I'll delete my email after you pay me. Like, this means nothing to people. Uh, do not, do not, do not, do not buy from this fucking company. So, moving along, uh, as I mentioned, now their website's been reworked for like the 16th time just to sell this one and this one, and this other third one is hidden. Remember, there is a fourth Spectrum model, the quote-unquote community model, uh, which I made a post, let's see, when was this? Fuck, two years ago. Tell me how long ago this was. It probably would have been the summer of 21, uh... Whenever, again, the, the QHE Spectrum was shipping. The QHE Spectrum was shipping July of 2021. It still has not mass shipped. So just to give you an idea of how long this has been. It's been two years and this still isn't shipping. But don't worry, guys. The OLED is uh, shipping this month. <laughs> the OLED is shipping this month, guys. Um, so two years ago, they canceled internally the QHE 144 Community Spectrum. They're doing zero development on it. They've done nothing on it. They've taken orders for it. I don't think they've taken full payment for them, which I guess kudos to them for not being that shitty. But this QHD monitor was originally supposed to ship December of 2019, and now they've just canceled it. So just, I think the QHD Spectrum is getting to there. I don't have anything to hint that it is actually canceled, but I think it's going to be very low production numbers, if any at all, so they can sell the OLEDs and the 4K ones, because people are stupid and keep buying their crap. So... What else has been going on? So, back whenever they made their stupid design, their, their name change, a year ago actually, uh, people asked, hey, uh, are you guys going to do the same thing you did before where you change your name and then you change your responsibilities? And this is, again, community, head, of, head and team leader, customer engagement, one of the only staff members still active on the community forums. That is 100% not the case. As stated multiple times about this topic, we are not running from anything. We had to change names, da 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 So, what happened was, when they were Eve Distribution, before this announcement, you, you paid them money. A lot of people have paid them money well before July 22, 22 and still have not received a product. Between Spectrums, between Vs, people have paid them money as Eve and still have not received a product. If you go to the Terms and Services, their live Terms of Service website, this website, Doe, is operated by Doe GmbH. So now this is their uh, European presence we talked about in the last past video. If you're in the EU, file a complaint against this company, Doe GmbH. There's a couple of links on the Reddit you can go try and find, or I'll link them down below in the video. Um, this would be a good way to try to get your money back. This is a European company. They're now saying, hey, we are a European company taking orders. So whenever you get butt fucked by them, you can now say, hey, it's a European company, not some weird Hong Kong company because here's the old terms of service on Dotech as of 2022 where this website is operated by Eve Distribution. So around this late 2022, they made the switch from calling out Eve to Doe. So basically any orders placed in 23, go and start complaining or you, you should be able to complain that Doe GmbH has your money because this was a big concern back whenever in July of 19, whenever this is roughly whenever my original order uh, I got completely scammed by. Uh, they mentioned this is the first time where they, they point out the wall just because you go to our website and you buy from us. Uh, unfortunately, one of our major partners, Fortress Tech Distribution, the one operating the web store, uh, froze your payment and, and kept your money. So this is the same bullshit fucking excuse this company has been using for the past four years of, oh, well, you went to our website but you paid a different company. So, oh, you went to Doe, but you paid Eve. We're not Eve, we're Doe. We're not, we're not, if you have your money with Eve, you gotta go to Hong Kong and get your money. This is the exact same bullshit they pulled four years ago when they switched from Eve Tech to Eve Distribution and what everybody said, hey, are you gonna do this when you switch from Eve Distribution to doe tech and they said no of course not we would never do that they're now doing the same fucking thing they did the exact same thing again this company is garbage i i don't know 
I know why. I know why people defend this company. It's because they promise. They have such grand promises. They have such great things they're going to give you if you just keep trusting them and giving them money. But they never deliver. They are incredibly anti-consumer. They are an incredibly garbage company run by incredibly garbage human beings. Um, the fact that I still have to make videos about this after I placed an order in 2017 and still never received my order, and there are other people alongside me who've never received anything from this company in six years, and they're just chugging along like, oh yeah, no big deal. We, we ignore all, the, all the, the negatives we've done. We intentionally treat our customers like shit. We do not honor warranties because who the fuck cares? If 10% if of our product, let's say 5% let's say five of our product needs a warranty replacement, fuck it. We can, we can take the heat of 5% of people getting mad at us because dumbasses keep coming back and buying this stupid fucking garbage of, oh, trust us, we're going to give you the best OLED monitor you can get at the cheapest price possible. And it'll be in July. Ha <laughs> ha. And people keep giving them fucking money. I don't understand. Okay, so uh, here's again another post I made about Doe. So this is again kind of all the companies. So you spy from Eve Tech, but oh, you're paying Fortress. But then Eve Distribution is now not Eve Holdings, is Doe, and it's 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 a whole mess. It's a whole mess. Check out the subreddit REV. Check out the subreddit R Doe Tech. Uh, we got a couple posts on there on how to reach out and how to get this stuff. Um, like their community members are finally saying, I'm feeling sad and scammed. They really, these poor customers really are. I've talked to some, I've not talked to, I've talked at some media outlets who keep parroting this garbage that Doe keeps feeding them and just like a press release and they keep posting and I'm actually about to go start shitting on uh, TFT Central because I talked to him, I think, or I talked at him, I think with him, I think back in January saying like, they're not going to ship in July and even I think last month, maybe two weeks ago same thing it's like dude like this company i'm sending these people links these are media outlets that are shoveling this crap to these people uh they are shoveling crap to these people and then basically they're putting their reputations on the line for a company that doesn't care about its customers so again i put out here that hey doe's claiming a three-year warranty and yet they're not honoring it and he goes well that's a good question but uh, we can't do anything <laughs> So again, last year, Doe promised they wouldn't abandon pre-orders. Doe updated their TOS a thousand plus days. They just, these company, these, these media outlets do not care. They simply want to just repost an article and get the clicks. So I don't know. It's kind of disappointing to me. It's kind of annoying to me. Um, same thing here with BFI. Uh, Doe announced to Spectrum. Oh, hey, we were working with Marco over at Blurbusters. They're going to, we're going to have the best strobe tuning ever. Uh, as of 14 days ago, nah, still not doing it. Or when's the last thing that he's mentioned? He basically said like, yeah, no, like they're not giving me any resources. The, you know, their monitor is crap, and uh, I'm not doing any. I'm not able to do anything done. So it's just like, oh, they made a promise two years ago, and now it's just not happening. Haha, <laughs> whatever. And now BFI is a last minute feature that oh, you know, BFI sh BFI is shipping July 2023. <sighs> Okay, that's my rant. Um, don't buy this crap. I say it every time. Uh, if you do, you there is a chance. I think if I think if you were in America and you ordered one of these in stock ones, you might get it within two weeks. You might. Would you have a good experience with it? No, because they keep promising. Don't worry, guys. Screen blanking. It's been an issue. Well, this is like the second or third post on it. Uh, don't worry, guys. We're, we're so sorry. We're going to fix it. It's a it's a buggy piece of shit. It was rushed to market by a company that doesn't know what they're doing. And now they're going to produce an OLED, which again, they don't know what they're doing. It's going to be just a disaster. Um, you might get a product at some point, but it's going to be a low quality garbage product, which is which is reflected in the price you pay. And it's reflected in the support you get because you don't get support when you buy this stuff. If you get something that's broken, ah, sucks for you, dog. Do not support this company. That's all I got to say on this. Um, I'll probably be back in six months to say, hey, <laughs> do OLED, still not chipping. <laughs> we'll see.